trying to figure out why you started to run ads, but they're not converting. Like maybe you're getting some engagement, maybe you're getting some traffic, maybe, but no sales, no leads, like what is going on? No conversions. We're gonna break that all down here in this video. <laughs> to my youtube video i'm so excited to have you guys in the building with me today make sure that you subscribe or ring the bell so that we can be friends so that whenever i go live you're notified and you join me in the lab like hello you get these gems you get this tea all right enough of that so if you're watching this video and you're really interested in trying to figure out why you started to run ads but they're not converting like maybe you're getting some engagement maybe you're getting some traffic maybe but no sales no leads like what is going on no conversions we're gonna break that all down here in this video all right guys i hope that you've got a pen and paper out because this is going to be really important this can change your entire business this can change your entire life right if you are running ads the wrong way you want to make sure that you fix them immediately. Why? Because you want to save money, right? You want to stop wasting your time running ads that don't even serve you. And you want to hurry up and get to the next level so that you can do what? You want to have more time? Do you want to have more money? Do you want to have more freedom? Do you want to live your life on your own terms? Do you want to quit your job? Like whatever your goal is, drop it down in the comments for me because I'm really interested in seeing, you know, where everybody is who, you know, is watching this video. Like, what do you want? Back to business. If you are curious to know why your ads are not converting, there are a few reasons. I'll cover four today. How about that? All right. Number one, number one, All right? What objective are you using on your ads? What objective? Are you using the right objective? All right, now when you first launch your campaign and uh, hold up, let's reverse for a second. When I'm talking about first launching your campaign, I am talking about the Facebook Business Manager, All right? If you are not using the Facebook Business Manager and you're boosting ads, there's another video for you because you're, you're already you're already like kind of veering off in the wrong direction. But it's okay, you don't know that, and it's okay, like continue to watch this video, but also- Boosting is not what you wanna do, and why Facebook Business Manager is what you wanna be doing. So, number one, make sure you're choosing the right objective. All right, so the right objective means that you are actually telling Facebook to find people who will take that action that you want to happen. Right? So we all want sales, right? But sometimes you have to figure out if like sales come first or does a lead come first, right? If you're selling a service, um, typically a lead will come before a sale. All right, so you have to think about that um, and you have to select the right objective that matches where that person is in the journey. Like if you're selling a service, they're not just gonna buy off of your ad. They have to learn a little bit more information about what service you're offering, how the process works, um, what you could deliver, you know, so on and so forth. Um, what it would be like to work with you, how to get in contact with you, like what, what's the first step, okay? Um, so typically that is a lead generation, whereas you have a few options, right? You can choose the lead form um, with Facebook and it is very um, uh, responsive, but I personally don't like to use that that much just because it's really um, kind of annoying the way that they limit the way, the amount of ways that you can integrate it. So like, stay away from that and focusing on conversions. If you are selling products, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to use conversions. So conversions is like my go-to 90% of the time, um, simply because there's different steps in the funnel that you can choose after you've selected conversions and you can have different events that events that you're asking Facebook to find people who will take. 
So for example, once you click conversions, it's gonna take you to the ad set. And under the ad set, it'll ask you what type of conversion. And you can say, I want them to purchase. I want them to add to cart. I want them to view my content on my page. So there's a lot of options there, but they are looking for people who typically take these actions. All right. Number two is avoid driving traffic. If you are not converting from your ads, more than likely you are driving traffic. And what traffic does is send a mass amount of people to your page. And like, that's cool if that's your goal. Right. So like back in the day, people would use this because they wanted to drive up the traffic on their page so that they can rank higher on search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing, whatever. Um, these days we want conversions like that's cool and all if you're a local business and you want to get searched up pretty quickly. But right now, that's not what we need, because what's probably happening to you is if you're using traffic and you're wondering why you're not getting conversions, sales, leads, whatever, you're probably getting a lot of people to your site because that's exactly what you've asked Facebook to do. You've asked them to send a lot of people to your site. Hello, how could you expect conversions when that's not the type of person that you're asking them to go out and find? Number three is if you are targeting too broad, right? So if you're targeting too broad and you're sending, you know, you're serving people an ad, um, they may come in look see -loo. They might be a bunch of look see -loos. like, hey, what's going on? Peek over here. Cool. They're window shopping. They're not actually buyers. Why? Because you haven't targeted them down enough. You haven't gotten a real specific type of person yet. So it's like going over their head because they may have one little interest in what you do, but not enough to really buy. All right. Now, last but not least, is super important is to make sure, make sure that you're following a funnel. You're following a strategic sales funnel that's going to lead people in through a customer journey. So you're going to find out where they are right now. Have they ever heard about you before? Have they ever heard of your offer before? Have they been shopping around? Like what type of person is this? Do they really have the need or are they just kind of lingering and came across, stumbled across your ad? So there's a lot of different variables here, but I want you guys to make sure if you want any more information on the sales funnel method, because it really is the foundation to everything that you go and you watch my sales funnel video about what it takes to um, set up a really solid, simple funnel in three steps so that you waste no money on ads. I gave you four tips on how to make sure that you are converting from your ads instead of just driving traffic, making sure that your ads are actually doing what you want them to do and that you're generating sales. All right, any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back with you. Um, also, if you wanna learn about Facebook Business Manager, there's another video for that, but I will stay focused.